with my February favourites and actually when I was kind of compiling my list in my notebook during the month I was kind of finding most of the things that I was most excited about weren't actually beauty related so basically this February favourites is a non-beauty related I do a few at the end that I'll throw in and show you but it's basically more lifestyle ones and I'm going to start off with ones two pairs of shoes, actually I have three pairs that I've been obsessed with and they are the Yeezy copies from Pennies I'm obsessed with these shoes, they are so so comfortable and they're only 13 euro each so here is like the blush pink pair, it's like a kind of dusky pink kind of colour um, as you can see it's white soles, I do try and keep those clean they're just so so comfortable and then I have a pair in black and white as well they're kind of, you can actually get this colour in actual black and white whereas this is black and grey um, I have another pair of these the same colour with a black sole as well but Cahill's actually wearing them because Cahill, my 11 year old, is now the same size foot as me hmm. so yeah we can share shoes now apparently so they're kind of pretty unisex but 13 euro I'm absolutely obsessed with them I think they're so so nice 13 euro super super comfy bargain okay so next item is a food item and I don't have them all here it's actually ingredients for nachos I posted a picture on my Instagram a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, and I shared with you my favourite toppings for nachos, and they're from the Santa, this Santa Maria range, I'm not sure if you can see the logo there. You can get, this is the sour cream, I also get the guacamole and the salsa. Oh my god, so we'll say on top of Doritos, this is what I do. So I get cool, cool, cool flavour? In the blue bag, cool original Doritos. Um, then plop some of this, the guacamole and the salsa, melt, sprinkle some cheese on top of the microwave for seconds, and it is divine. The guacamole in particular is really really nice because I know I think it's El Paso do a guacamole and it's vile, it's rank, it's really really sour, it's disgusting whereas this Santa Maria one is really really creamy. If you're a fan of nachos lads you have to try it out. Santa Maria, be there, be square. Did I just say that? It's so embarrassing. Okay so next up is some stationery. Anyone who knows me knows I am an absolute stationery fiend. I love stationery pens, notepads to keep notes, anything like that. Obsessed with them. It's kind of ironic because I'm not the most organised person but I love stationery. Kind of contradicting itself. I don't know. Um, quickly this one is from Penny. Why am I saying quickly? I feel like I'm having to rush myself. This notepad is like a blogger, a blogger's dream because the marble effect is so popular at the moment and obviously rose gold. I love notepads that have the ring bound side on them. They're just lay flat on a desk, they're much handier. This is only two euro from pennies as well. Love it, really really nice and again like I said it's just a nice aesthetic for blogger, blog pictures as well. So I use that to keep notes in for blog ideas and stuff like that. And then my other one, the big one this month has been my happiness planner. This was an investment because, I'm not sure, I don't, no I haven't spoken about this on here because I haven't been on here. Um, I have done an in-depth blog post on this showing up close pictures. Basically this is the happiness planner. Um, it's a journal for kind of positive thinking, positive outlook on life. It is a diary day by day but it's more focused on positivity and changing your life and focusing on good things and having aims and just, I love it. I really really love it. It has a quote on the top of each page. So at the start of the month, it gives you a monthly overview. So for example, it says personal goals, work goals, this month's positive self-talk, this month I'm excited about happy things I'll do. So it's really happy focused. And then each day you fill in, actually it has a monthly overview as well, if I go back here. It has the monthly overview as well. Like I said, I have um, up close pictures of this and vlog, but just quickly go through it here. So this is what I fill in daily. I'm going blurry. So up the top you have a, pos a different positive quote each day. Then you have, today I'm excited about exercises, which I kind of tend to leave blank. Uh, main focus, meals. Then you have a list for schedules, to-do lists. That's kind of, you fill that in at the start of the day. And then the end of the day is more of a reflection. So you have notes, good things about today what I'm grateful for and what I hope for tomorrow. So like I said, it really is kind of trying to set you in a positive mindset and I've, it was a huge resolution of mine um, at the start of the year just to change my mindset a small bit. I tend to be a bit of a Debbie Downer in my own head. I don't vocalise it but I can be a bit of a pessimist and I can get into my own head so I thought this would be a really, really good way to just try and change my mindset and I've been really, really loving that. Like I said, it was an investment because it was in around 50 euro. I do have a discount code as well so I'll link my blog post to this in the, descri the description box but I love it, really really love it. Okay next was an eBay find again, this is something else that I've talked about very recently in my blog. Kind of is beauty so I'm cheating a bit but it is a palette and again you can see I'm just, I love rose gold. This is a rose gold copy of a Z palette. 
So in case you don't know what a Z palette is, basically it's a magnetized um, board with that you can put your single eyeshadow pans onto. So we'll say these are the Inglot eyeshadow pans, and because they are metal at the back, they just clip in. They won't fall out. Um, just very very handy, and it's much cheaper than Z palette. I done a video on this. I just got a flashback. So sometimes I forget if I've done a blog post or something on or a video on something. So you would have heard about this if you saw my previous video, but I love it. I really, really love it. Um, again, link to that video down below if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so funnily enough, my next two things are also eBay finds, so I've been obviously loving eBay in February. Um, next, I actually bought this... Oh, sorry, my phone. I actually bought this, was it January maybe? It was December, but I've been really, really using it. Basically, it's a clip-on light for your phone, a ring light for your phone, I'm not sure if you can see the light there but um, it clips onto your phone which is going off crazily right now, whatever's going on so basically what it is, it clips onto your phone like that you flip, flick it on and it gives you like good lighting for taking selfies and stuff as vain as that sound is actually really really good for nights out but the main reason why I've been using it is actually for Instagram photos I've been really really trying to improve my Instagram quality and this is really really handy when I'm taking pictures like flat lay pictures just have an extra bit of light instead of using the flash on this I actually really like the effect that the ring light gives it's more kind of a round um, light on a flat lay so I've been really really loving that for Instagram posts I will leave the link to where I bought this on eBay below um, it's way cheaper than the ones that you can get we'll say on Trend Beauty at one stage they were 30 euro this was literally half the price I think I paid 14 for this, 15. Um, they're still retailing for 20, 30 euro, but if you get them on eBay, they're the exact same thing. And this is one that can charge as well, it's not battery operated. I paid a little bit extra for the one that you can actually charge. So I really, really love that one. Okay, and the next eBay finds that I got were my actual iPhone cover. I actually bought this ages ago and it arrived with the wrong size. I gave it to my sister, so I re they actually resent it out to me for the right size because I have an iPhone 7. Basically, it's a clear back. Because I have the, the rose gold iPhone 7, um, I kind of want to show off the back because I love the colour of it. So it is a clear cover, but as you can see, around the edges, it's actually rose gold. So it might sound kind of stupid, but I really wanted to see through cover, but something extra, so that's exactly what this does. And I think it just, it works really well with this phone. Um, sorry, something just came through there, so I really, really love that. And as you can see, I have a marble effect wallpaper as well. The other um, one I was using, I really, really love this as well. It's a customised um, a customized hardback cover, so it's actually a hard one. Now, this one is TPU. It has a bit of a bounce. It has a bit of a bend. I do prefer those. I think they protect your phone much better. But I just love the marble effect in this, and because it's personalised, I was just a sucker for it. This was priced at €7, Euro, and this one was priced at €2. Euro crazy like so so good um so i leave links to again leave uh, links to everything leave links to everything that i talk about in the description box in case you are interested okay my last two faves are skincare so it's not really beauty but it's beauty is skincare skincare is beauty um so quickly just throw them in at the end i've been absolutely loving the nip and fab um glycolic what are they called? The Gly Glycolic Fix Night Pads Extreme. I, this, these are the extreme version. I haven't tried the regular version. I think there's just a little bit more concentrated glycolic acid in here. Basically, I read out the front of it. Um, super Strength Acid Exfoliating Facial Pads to target oily and congested skin. Um, I have relatively regular skin, but I do find I get a little bit congested on my um, chin and around my nose. Glycolic acid is really, really good for the skin, and these are super super I feel like they actually do something to my skin just one pad will say after I wash my face I just glide this all over my skin um, I find they work wonderfully. I find they work wonderfully for in particular decongesting pores um, I think it's uh, glycolic acid is also good for um, removing dead skin cells and stuff like that for th that kind of purpose I prefer a scrub but I find it's really really good, really good for de degunking my face um, I think these are an offer in boots they were anyway so I'm not sure um, but I love them, really, really like them. Okay, and last but not least are three skincare items. Again, I have put these on the blog, but I know not everyone reads the blog. These are the brand new Pure Clay range from L'Oreal. They came out with, I think everyone knows about the face, face masks. There's like a green one, a green one, a kind of red one, and a dark, like, navy one. So they brought out matching face washes for them. So the two of these... So the green one and the red one are quite, or orange, I suppose. These are face washes. No, sorry. These two, the green one and the navy one, these are face washes and this one is more of a scrub. The green one is more of a cream, the navy one is more of a gel and the last one is a scrub. I have a full rundown of these in my blog but I really really do like them. Um, some people are saying they broke them out because, well I'm assuming it is because these two in particular are for clarifying so that is why, like, 
I think people sometimes get worried when their skin does that, but it's called your skin is purging. It's trying to get rid of all the gunk out of your face and it, it is good, but you just need to be patient. Now that didn't happen to me, so it varies from person to person, but I really, really do love these. The smell of them, so, so nice. Um, they're priced at seven euro, but again, Boots always do offer. I actually found them for cheaper. I think, no, it's eight euro full price, but I found them for six, 650, I think it is on Inish Pharmacy and I have a 10% off code for Inish Pharmacy, they do loads and loads of brands, so I'll definitely link those below. And you can use the my code Fits and Bits um, for ten percent off anything. You can doesn't have to be on these for everything, so I leave that uh, code down below as well. Okay, and that is it for my February favorites. I feel like I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm not very very comfortable in front of the camera at the moment. I'm not sure if it's coming across. I feel like I need to get back into getting used to it. Um, I'm so used to Snapchat at this stage, I'm so comfortable with my little phone, phone but here I am in my room with the big ring light and the camera, it's a bit more daunting so I hope I'm not coming across too awkward, I don't know. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about anything, like I said I will link everything down below and any blog posts as well because in my blog I kind of go a bit more in depth into each item. So yeah, that's about it. If you do have any questions leave them in the comment below and I will see you in my next one. Bye!